Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will start with some system activities. So, if you observe in the activities panel, so we have a drop down kind of thing which is called available. In that, we can see the system activities inside that we have different types of activities like the application activities, clipboard activities, dialogue activities like this. So, in this session, we will see how we can compress the files in a particular folder with the help of your path studio so currently i am using the latest version of your path which is nothing but 2020.10.2 so here what i noticed is so here we have some activities in the workbook sorry in the file which are nothing but the compass or zip files or another thing is extract or unzip file these two activities are helpful to zip or compress the files and unzip or extract the files so today we will see how we can compress the files with the help of this activity so first i created a new sequence with the name as compress so i am just dragging and dropping this activity inside my designer panel so here if you notice the input fields in the properties so here we have a compressed file name so i will just place my file name as test which is nothing but a compressed file. So here in the folder, I have three presentations. I want to zip these files into a new zip file with the name of test. So here I will add these files as the input to my activity. So here we have one more input called the files or folders. Now we are dealing with the files only. So I will just place it as files. Here I will add the files with the help of enter to zip location. Okay, so just pause this part. So I will just select these two presentations 81 and 82. And you can add extra files as well with the help of a new line. So here we will have a D plus button at the end of each field. So if you want to add one more row, we can add it or you can save it. So I will press one more time. And I will add one more presentation APP. So now we have three files which I am going to compress in this location with the name as test. So here we will have one output field which is nothing but this file. Okay, if you want to extend the process further or if you want to mail it to some person, you can use this uh, variable and you can directly invoke that uh, variable into our uh, next step of process so i'm not going to use anything here and if you will see the options we we'll have different encoding techniques with the, the drop down of name encoding you can select whatever type of encoding you need so as a default i'm just keeping it as default and if there is any existing file so if you click on this checkbox it will override the existing one or else it will create a duplicate and here a password option is also available which is nothing but an optional field so if you are having any confidential information in your presentations or in your document you can use the password and you can share the password to your receiver in encrypted format or any other forms so as of now i am not using any passwords so i will just run this now and we will check whether these three presentations form a new compressed file with the name as test Let's give up the file. So it's just started and it's completed in a second. So here we will refresh the folder location. So it seems it is created somewhere inside the project folder. So you see the system activities folder. Yeah. See, a new folder is generated here with the name as test as is overwrite existing file. There is a test file previously, it is overwritten with this test file. So you can see this 81, 82, 83, all the presentations are available in this test project. And as we have not provided any password, so it is not asking for a password. So this is what I will do is I will keep some password. So I will keep some password like uh, Leo. And we'll see how it behaves. And I'm going to override the existing file. So 
this is the location where I have my zip file currently. So I will just press it right click and debug it now. So you can see the execution process is completed. So it is now 7 12 and it should have the password to enter. Let me try again. So now it is asking for the password. So let's give the password as you know. And now I think we should not give the double quotes. So now this time I press the double quotes as well. So it is showing some the password for the quotes. Password as you specify password. Okay. So I'll just copy paste the so password. It's B. Think how it is worked. So it is showing the folder location over here. So let's go and check. Yeah, now we can see so the system activities we got 81, 82, 83. So these three presentations were copy and it is protected with some passwords while well, extracting. We need to provide the password whatever we have given. And the password. So now we will do one more thing, we will add folders as well. So I will add folder from I have created some folders inside of the e drive. So here is a folder, I have two folders, F1 and F2. So I will just select this F1. I will rename this as folder test. Let's check now. So this is just completed. And the page for any zip file is created or not. So this is the file. Your folder is created. So now along with uh, the presentations, we will have a folder as well. So we don't have any data. So it is just showing the blank folder. It has only two files and along with that we have a folder as well. So like this, it is a simpler way to create the compass files or zip files with help of UFI Studio. So previously we need to use some input methods and some uh, existing packages to create this zip file. So that's all for this section. In the coming session we will see how we can unzip or extract the files from a compressed file. So if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel and please share the video with your friends. That will be helpful for us. Thank you.